This presentation will discuss version control and Git, which is how programmers share, save, and store code. Version control is a system that helps you keep track of changes made to files, like documents, pictures, or any other files you work with on your computer. It provides a backup of your files. It keeps a complete history of all the changes you've made, so you can retrieve earlier versions of your document if needed. You might accidentally delete an important section of your document or change something you didn't mean to. With version control, you can easily go back to any previous version of the file and undo those mistakes. This is useful in case your computer crashes, a file gets accidentally deleted, or you want to go back and see how your document evolved over time. Version control also comes in handy when you collaborate with others. Imagine you're working on an important document, like a report for work or a school project. With version control, you can make changes to the document and easily keep a record of what changes were made, who made them, and when they were made. Authorship and timestamps become transparent. You can always see who made the changes and when. This helps you keep things organized and know what modifications have been done over time. Each person can make their own changes to the document without worrying about overwriting over each other's work. The version control system helps you merge everyone's changes together seamlessly, so you have a complete and up-to-date document. You download Git onto your computer in order to work with it. It is a command line tool that enables version control. It focuses on managing the history of files, allowing for easy branching, merging, and reverting of changes. Git operates locally on your computer, providing a robust framework for version control. With the help of online platforms like GitLab and GitHub, you can upload your Git to a cloud solution. This means that all the history Git has collected locally on your system can be uploaded online. If you need to switch computers for any reason, you can download your code and continue working on it. You can also more easily share your code with others by providing them a URL to your Git. You will use this in all courses in the future, and most, if not all, companies expect you to work with Git or similar software. Git can also come with GUI clients. Essentially, this is a visual UI for seeing how your Git looks like. Examples include source tree. We will not be working with any GUI. Instead, we will focus on working in the terminal. This is just to inform you, in case you see the term git GUI on the internet. Let's go through some keywords and concepts. Version control systems, such as Git, focus on essential concepts like branching, merging, and reverting changes efficiently. These concepts enable developers to collaborate effectively and manage project history. Let's explore these keywords in more detail. The main branch, often called the master branch or main branch, represents the default and most stable version of a project. It's the primary branch where the finished and production ready code resides. Other branches, like feature branches or bug fix branches, are created to work on specific tasks. And once the work is complete, changes from these branches are merged back into the main branch. Here you can see how different people can make copies from the main branch and continue to work on these copies independently. Branching allows you to create independent lines of development within a project. It's like making a separate copy of the project where you can work on specific features, bug fixes, or experiments without affecting the main project. For example, imagine you're working on a website project. You can create a branch called Feature Login Page to work on implementing a login page independently. This branch acts as an independent copy where you can make changes without impacting the main project. Each branch maintains its own set of changes and commits, separate from other branches. When ready, all parties working on their own individual copies of the project can add their own contribution to the main project. Merging is the process of combining changes from one branch into another. 
Once you have completed your work on a branch, such as the feature login page branch, you can merge it back into the main branch to incorporate the changes into the overall project. This ensures that the new features or bug fixes become part of the main project. For example, after completing the login page implementation, you can merge the feature login page branch into the main branch to add the login functionality to the website. Version control systems allow you to revert or undo changes made to files. If you realize that a change you made is causing issues or you want to discard certain modifications, you can revert the changes to revert the files back to a previous state. For example, if you accidentally introduced a bug while working on the logging page, you can revert the change made to a file that introduced the bug, effectively undoing the problematic changes. A repository, often abbreviated as repo, is a central storage location where version control systems store and manage all the files, history, and changes related to a project. It serves as a container for the entire project, including its branches and other relevant information. It keeps track of all the branches and stores the complete history of changes made to the project, including all the comments and modification. A commit represents a specific set of changes made to files in a repository. It's like taking a snapshot of the project at a particular point in time, or like a save. Each commit has an associated author, a description of the changes made, and a date. Commits serve as milestones in the project's history, providing a record of the modifications made over time. For example, you may have a commit with the message added login form component to describe the changes made to implement the login form. By using branches, merging, and reverting changes, version control systems allow developers to work independently on different features, experiment with ideas, and collaborate effectively. These practices help manage project development, maintain code integrity, and enable seamless teamwork in software development projects. This has been a presentation about Git and version control, the system coders use to track changes in source code during software development. Thank you for listening. The slides for this presentation are available for download, so you can read them if you need to. Until next time.